So here we have the Vauxhall Zafira SRI on a 66 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car, then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside, you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels and tinted windows. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. So as we approach the back of the car, you'll see we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well. Uh, currently the car is in its five seat format. Let me show you what it's like as a seven seater. And there you go, that's with the two rear ones folded out. So this is the amount of boot space you have as a seven-seater. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think that's what we're seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. You get full leather seats. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that right now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter, and on the right-hand side, the speedometer. Also in the middle there, you'll see the total miles for this car, which are 27,213. The information above that can be changed using controls on the steering wheel. So you've got various different bits of trip computer information uh, and that digital readout for the speedometer. At the top in the middle, we've got the fuel gauge and coolant temperature gauge. If we back out to the steering wheel, on the left hand side we have cruise control and speed limiter and on the right hand side we have stereo and phone controls including voice activation for the phone. That is of course once you set your phone up and that's done over on the touch screen here. Hit the phone icon and then you'd search for your device from there. When it comes to music in this car, there's a number of ways we can listen to that. We have AM, FM and DAB radio, we have USB input and Bluetooth audio as well. Uh, anytime you want to go back to the home screen, just press this home button just here. You can connect up your smartphone via its USB and there are certain voxel friendly apps that can be projected uh, up onto this screen under the uh, projection heading that you see being displayed now. Working our way down, we have the air conditioning. So you can determine the temperature, fan speed, the direction you'd like the air to be distributed in. When you're happy with those settings, that button turns the air conditioning off in this case or back on again. This button will recirculate the air that's in the car currently. So that's a great way of heating it up uh, or cooling it down quickly, depending on the temperature you set here. So it's either bringing in fresh air from outside or recirculating the air that's inside as we speak. Below that, we have this big cubby hole section and you open this down and that reveals the USB input and the 12 volt charging socket. We've also got heated driver and passenger seats with three different heat settings on each seat. We have a six speed uh, manual gearbox. And then these two buttons here. So this one turns off the parking sensors and this will turn off the traction control. Um, so you can hit that button to do that uh, and turn it back on again via the same button, of course. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.